let's configure global color so if you take a look at the design here there is only couple of colors and the primary color is green so let's copy the green color first i'm using a add-on here chrome extension you can find a lot of color picker for google chrome so let's click pick and i'll be copy the green color and also let's copy other relevant color here so first of all i'm gonna copy all the color that is related to the design and after that i'll be working on typography so i have done with my color i think it's I'm not sure how the text color so this is the text color this is heading color and okay I'm done now navigate to the dashboard and here our dashboard so I'm gonna navigate to appearance editor and click styles so this is a new editor that comes with WordPress 6.3 and it has a lot of features that wasn't there before and i'm really uh, excited to show you all the new features here so click on styles and here you can see the default color there are some default styles that is created for you if you want you can use any of them for your website but if you do not want or if you want to make your own custom color you can select any of them from here and then click on this pen icon and here you can see there is an options called colors so i'll talk about layout and typography later let's talk about the colors when i click on colors there is is here we can see the text color background color link color button color and some other colors here and first of all you have to change the color palette after that i'll be configuring the color from here let's click on color palette and from theme color let's click and change the primary color first and we have copied the color here so i'm gonna copy this one paste here so please note that this add-on is a custom created add-on and I have created uh, for using only myself on my local server and uh, this is not available inside uh, Google or any other store maybe you can use any other different uh, color picker so now let's copy and paste here this is our theme color okay there are a couple of other colors and then the text color so primary color text color white color we have already changed them and the secondary color I think I should have used a darker version of this primary color so let's make it a little bit darker okay uh, we are done with the color selections and there are some other default color if you want you can add more colors by clicking over here and also if you want you can create a default gradient pattern for your uh, uses so I'm not gonna use any gradient color for this project so I'm gonna keep this one but the process is same just click over here add your desired color and it will be adding globally where you can use your own color and if you want you can click here or three dots you can reset the colors and if you click show details you can see some other details here so that's very helpful right and we have configured our color okay 
Now it's time to configure typography.